Hello, I'm Tom Varberg and I'm a professor of chemistry here at McAllister College and we're in my research lab. I want to show you a few things that I'm passionate about here at McAllister. First of all, I teach our accelerated general chemistry course, which is designed for first year students who are thinking about majoring in chemistry or another science discipline. I also teach our two semester sequence in physical chemistry. That's taken by juniors and seniors, most of them chemistry majors, but some biology and geology majors as well. And I tend to structure my teaching after a saying by a Confucian scholar named Zun Ji. And he once wrote, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. And I like that three-part structure to teaching, because if you come here, you're gonna going to hear a lot of science in your courses, you're going to see a lot of science, but to really understand science, you have to do science. And you would have the opportunity to work in a lab like mine, where you get to do science, scientific research in collaboration with a faculty member. I tend to hire two students every summer, and we try to publish one or two papers, so my students are often co-authors on a paper in, say, the Journal of Chemical Physics. My own passion for research is for the spectroscopy of molecules. And to do that kind of work, we need state-of-the-art laser systems. The one right here on the corner of this table, I was able to raise the money for this system. It cost about $250,000 from a grant from the National Science Foundation. And what we have here is a green pump laser. It's of a fixed wavelength that's reminiscent of a laser pointer. It's basically a fancy, expensive version of a laser pointer. And we send that light into a ring laser where we focus it into a titanium sapphire crystal. The sapphire crystal emits light of many colors from the near infrared all the way into the visible. Right now it's lasing in sort of a red color around 720 nanometers. And we take that light and send it down to our vacuum chamber where we make molecules. I'm gonna demonstrate that for you. The technique we use is called laser induced fluorescence. I've got a green laser pointer here I'm going to send it through a cell that contains some iodine. And when I do that, what we'll see is that the laser enters, it's green, but then we see a yellow beam wherever the laser is going. And what's occurring here is the green light is absorbed by the iodine, it gets promoted to an excited state, and when it falls back down, it gives off yellow light, and that's called laser-induced fluorescence. That's what we use to study the spectra of our molecules. And last summer, we worked on vanadium hydride, a molecule we discovered right here at McAllister College. We hope to see its spectrum in the photosphere of cold stars within our galaxy. And we also worked on tantalum oxide. That's a spectrum that's shown up here on the computer screen. You can see that some of the yellow peaks here. We study those peaks. We generate a lot of spectra. We print them off in long scrolls like this one. This is the same spectrum here of tantalum oxide. And my students and I measure the wavelengths of all of those peaks, assign them, and then fit those wavelengths using mathematical models that we've programmed with specialized software. So perhaps if you come to McAllister and major in the sciences, you'll get the chance to work together with a faculty member in a lab like mine, making exciting discoveries of your own. Thanks a lot.